So, you probably saw the title of this video and you're curious, aren't you? Well, let me tell you about it. <laughs> I've been curious about 3D modeling for a while, but I never really gave it a try. However, I watched a video recently and in the video's description there was a link to a website called The Models Resources. And it's an amazing website. It has models from many different video games. I found a model of Yoshi, who is my favorite character, and I was slightly convinced to give 3D modeling a try. But there was something that fully convinced me. Wow, this website has GameCube models too? Mario Party 6. Okay, if I find Brighton and Twilight in here, then I'll definitely give 3D modeling a try. So I downloaded a couple of different characters. Yoshi, Filbert, Brighton, Twilight, Poppy, and many more. Now, how was I going to do 3D modeling? Well, I have Blender, which I use which I use that for animations, but I never fully used its 3D features. So the first 3D model I experimented with was, of course, Yoshi. I had so many things to figure out, like how to make him move, and after watching several, several, several videos on 3D modeling, I eventually figured it out. Now if I can just figure out how to fix his eyes. After experimenting with Yoshi, I decided to use Filbert. Filbert is a little easier to use. There's a way I can change the expressions on his face, but I don't know how to do that. Next characters I experimented with were the ones I was most excited to use, Brighton and Twyla. Now the thing with 3D modeling is that every model has to have a bone structure so they can move around and stuff. With that said, Brighton had one, but Twyla didn't, and I couldn't make her do anything. That would explain that one picture I posted on DeviantArt. But I was determined to make her move. So what I did is I just copied the bone structure that Brighton had and put it on and put the copied one on Twyla. And after figuring out more stuff, I was finally able to get Twyla moving. This was the experiment picture I did. Now I can do things like this. I will say that Twyla is not the only one I was having trouble with. I'm still trying to figure out things with 3D modeling, right? Like remember how I said Yoshi has the eye thing I can't figure out. Well, Rosalina also has that same problem. I gotta figure out how to fix them, but I don't know what to do. There must be some kind of light thing I'm not figuring out, because Olimar has a similar problem, only instead of his eyes, it's his, it's his helmet, and you can't really see him. And also, he doesn't have a bone structure either. Speaking of characters with no bone structures, oh, there's a few of them. I downloaded a model of Sky. It's from a Paw Patrol mobile game that I had no idea about. No bone structure. I downloaded Pikmin models. They work fine, but the winged Pikmin appear like this. I even downloaded Pooh and Piglet and they have no bone structures either. But the most hardest one is Pipsy. Not only does she not have a bone structure, but I can't move her or change her size. But eventually I was able to figure that out. I just copied the bone structure that Anacotti has and put it on Pipsy and now she works fine. Also, I don't know how to fix the water. Other than that, I at least got a few of the characters to work. I mostly have been using Filbert, Poppy, Brighton, and Twyla because they're easy to work with. They're also some of my favorites. Here's some pictures I put together. When I look at this picture, it looks like Brighton and Twyla have something to say. I know, it's be safe online. I put together many pictures, but I wanted to try 3D animation. So I did some test animations of Filbert. I even did one where he does a falcon punch. It's a work in progress. 
I also made an intro for my other channel, Smileville Studios. Yeah, I'm thinking of turning Smileville Studios into a 3D animation channel. Well, I think that's all I have to say about my experiments with 3D modeling and a animation. To be honest, it's a lot easier than I thought. And it makes you appreciate shows like Paw Patrol and Octonauts and even video games. Because now I know a little bit on 3D modeling and animation. If you have any 3D modeling advice you could give me, please let me know. I would really appreciate just a little help. Anyway, thank you for watching, go have some fun, and be safe online. Hello everyone, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. I'd really appreciate the support. Thank you for watching, now go have some fun.